Good morning. Thank you for coming today. I'm John Barnes and I'm the candidate for State House District 89 and I'm proud to be joined today by Mary Ann Sullivan who is running in House District 97. We're here today to support Senator Evan Bayh's recent bipartisan plea for increased federal funding for Amtrak. With no end in sight to high gas prices, we need to be focused on developing alternative transportation. Amtrak has seen a 25% spike in travel in some parts of Indiana since September. More important to this district are the more than 400 jobs that this facility provides right here in our community. We all know how hard it is right now to find good paying jobs. And I want to make sure that these jobs stay right here in Beach Grove. I'm running for State House because I believe we need to work with all branches and levels of government to move our communities and our state and our nation forward. That's why I'm supporting Senator Bayh's call for increased funding. When situations happen like they have, we end up with an opportunity. When you take a spike in gas prices, really a, a fuel emergency, uh, the need for increased professional jobs and the need to maintain the jobs of highly trained professionals down here as well as expand our workforce, that all comes together and makes for a common sense approach to making the right decision. Senator Bayh's proposal is a bipartisan uh, proposal that's good for everybody. Down here in Beach Grove, we call that a no-brainer. And I think the men and women with us today would agree that anytime you can bring all those things together and make more sense in terms of options for the taxpayers and increased mass transit, that's a good thing. These are tough times, and we need to be responsible with taxpayers' money and make sure that we're spending it on projects that create or maintain jobs and that improve our way of life. Mary Ann and I also strongly support developing other forms of mass transit, and she's going to share a few of her thoughts. Let me introduce you to Mary Ann Sullivan, the next state representative from District 97. Thank you, John. Um, as John already said in his introduction, I'm Mary Ann Sullivan, and I'm running for House District 97. I'm proud to join with Senator Bai in his call for increased Amtrak funding. But I also want to stress the importance of what lawmakers at our state house can do to help improve mass transit across Indiana. First of all, we need to make a commitment that mass transit is a priority. We've already seen its success in northern Indiana with the South Shore Line, and we need to look to replicate that success elsewhere. Right here in Indianapolis, we need to focus our efforts on Indigo and making sure that we're doing everything that we can to improve and make that bus system more efficient. After that, we can move on to other forms of mass transit. I would guess that most people don't realize that of all the major metro areas in the country, only Indianapolis and Detroit have no form of modern mass transit beyond a public bus system. As state lawmakers, we can study and fund these issues, but we need to do both. Building a successful mass transit system in a major metropolitan area such as Indianapolis will take time and it's going to take buy-in from leaders at every level. We need to get started and rising gas prices should give everyone a reason to jump on board. Thanks for coming today and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Thank you.